The kind of systems that we're studying in this class are built from programming. So it's really a good idea for us to have a foundation in programming. Now I'm not going to make you programmers, I'm not going to go very far at all into the idea of programming, but I do want to introduce you to it and get you to understand it in a conceptual sense. So programming, just like architecture, is both a process and a product. I program, that's a verb, and I create a program. So programming, in either case, is writing computer code. What does computer code do? Basically, and most fundamentally, computer code allows you to do logic and calculations. And the logic and calculations together allow you to tell the computer step by step by step, simple step by simple step by simple step, what you want it to do. So let's break that down. Logic. Logic is how you tell the computer whether or not you want it to do something. If these conditions are true, then do this, uh, these statements, do these commands, do this thing that I'm telling you. Um, for example, um, the Facebook system might let you see a person when you search for them. It might not let you see this person when you search for them. Depending. The depending part is the logic. If that person has made their profile public, then allow their profile to be shown or their, their um, yeah, allow their profile to be shown in search results. If, then, if, they're, if they've made their profile public, then allow their, their, um, uh, allow their, uh, their profile to be seen when you search for it. So that's an example of logic. Um, as a further example, let's look at notifications. And we'll, in Facebook, and we'll, um, we'll follow notifications through a number of, of these lectures. So you know the idea of notifications. There's a little icon up in the, uh, on the top bar of Facebook, and when something that they want to, you to notice happens, they light up the notification icon. And then when you click on the notification icon, or mouse over it, I guess, it drops down, and you see all your pending notifications. That's programming. There's some programming code that's created that. There's some logic there. And the logic might say, um, if you have unread notifications, light that little button up. The logic might also say, if you click on that notification button, uh, for each notification that you uh, have pending, show it in the drop-down list. And by the way, it might order them in reverse chronological order, right? The, most, the newest one at the top and then later, 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 later. So there's some logic there. The first piece of logic says, if you have notifications, do something. The second piece of logic says, for each notification that you have, do something. That if and for each, those are logic statements. Those allow you to decide based on different conditions what to do. Now, what are the conditions here? The condition is, if I have any pending notifications at all, let's not worry what exactly it means to be a pending notification, but you get the idea. The, the condition is pending notifications. How many pending notifications do I have? If there are zero, don't light up that button. If there are more than zero, light up the button. Can you see that the condition is zero? If there's zero, the, uh, so, sorry, more than zero, light up the button. And then in the for each piece of logic that says for each notification, put it in the list, we have to know how many, how many, how many notifications there are. Those are the conditions. Okay, so programming is logic and, and calculations. And logic in turn breaks down to logical statements and the conditions under which you're going to um, say that I want to do the code that follows. Okay, now let's look at calculations. So programming is logic and calculations. The calculations are the way that we determine something new from something that we know. Now the somethings are data, right? So um, uh, those calculations, we usually think of them as mathematical operations, but they don't have to be mathematical. A calculation can be a mathematical operation or some other kind of manipulation that takes us from what we know to what we want to know. And let me give you an example of that. When you make a post on Facebook, it logs the date and time of that post, right? I, I hit, the, I hit the, um, the post button and in my Facebook database somewhere goes a date and time that I made that post. That's what I know. That's what Facebook knows. What Facebook wants is to be able to put under the post, this was post one min posted one minute ago, this was posted one hour ago, this was posted yesterday, etc. That's a calculation, an easy calculation in this case. It just calculates the amount of time that's elapsed since you posted that. It knows when you posted it, and it knows how to calculate the, num the amount of time that's elapsed, and then it displays that. Um, uh, so let's look at posts at a larger level and we'll see a larger calculation that's not entirely mathematical. So Facebook has to figure out which posts to show on your, on your, um, 
on your page on your home page and which ones not to show how does it do that well certainly there's some math involved but there's other manipulations involved as well it looks at all your friends and if this person is a friend and if um, uh, for example you've said somewhere else that you want to be notified for sure about everything that they do then it will post it will put their post on your on your page which post comes first it looks at time so it does all of these different manipulations and I don't, e I don't even have a clue what all the manipulations are they don't tell you exactly how they figure out which posts they show and which posts they don't show in your newsfeed I'm sorry I said home page before what I meant to say is newsfeed news newsfeed is a is a complicated page that says show me the show me the posts that are most important what does it mean for it to be most important if it's important show it that's a logic but the calculation is which ones are the most important and how do I rank them in importance level okay so to summarize programming is a process and a product. I program and I create programs and the programs themselves are computer code. I will look more at code in a moment but right now you should know that code is logic and calculations. The logic decides when I do which thing and the calculation gives me information that I need to know from information that I already know. Between those two things we're giving the computer step-by-step -step instructions on what to do at every turn by issuing logic, by checking the conditions of the logic, and by doing calculations that, that give me the results that I need in order to give the application the functionality that it needs.